Look what I've got here. Beautiful crystal. You're getting sleepy. <laughs> You're getting sleepy. Now, I'm like Pollyanna. I collect these because I like to be surrounded by rainbows every morning when I wake up. Not that the shadows, are, the uh, sunlight, sunbeams are in the right place at the moment. But I do like rainbows. And these big crystals give nice purple, rain, long purple rainbows. They do. I'm like Pollyanna. I collect crystals. And there's what? Here's another one. I don't want to knock them together and chip them because there's nothing like a chipped crystal to, well, I mean, it's broken perfection, isn't it? It can be very disheartening. Mm, yes, crystals. That's another one. Oops, yes. Pollyanna collected crystals. I'm like Pollyanna. I play the glad game as well. Every morning when I wake up, I try to play the glad game. I do. Yes. So you've got to have crystals. Everyone needs rainbows. Everyone should have rainbows, shouldn't they? They should. You should wake up with rainbows. And of course, well, not everything in, in Walt Disney's Pollyanna was true to the book. I mean, Hayley Mill, I don't, don't know if she collected crystals in the book, but uh, prisms in the book, but uh, in the book she didn't, well, according to the BBC's version of the book, and they're usually true to the book, the BBC, Pollyanna didn't have a, her Aunt Polly didn't have a huge house, you know, a giant mansion, and um, uh, Pollyanna didn't have a male companion, a young male companion called Jimmy Bean, and she didn't fall out of a high uh, dormer window. She uh, just fell off, off a log in a dry creek bed. So that's quite different from Walt Disney's uh, gigantic uh, uh, version of, uh, well, version of events, yes. Look at them. You need crystals. And remember, you're beautiful like a rainbow.